Hey everyone, DC here with another Axie Journey video. Today we're going to take a look at another pricing tool. That's, that's uh, I found, it's really cool. And also we're, we're gonna talk about the market, what, what is happening. All right, so let's get started. Okay, the first thing we see here is the market is going crazy. When I first uh, started this journey, the market uh, number of Axies sold was around 32,000 and now we're looking at 62,000. Holy cow, that is a lot of axes sold in uh, in 24 hours. So if you had seen the first video and you, now you're seeing this, this is a great sign of things happening and the market is hot. Uh, the total ETH volume is going up and you'll notice that the prices are, are a little, uh, they're a little, they're still a little, in that 0.19 range. So you're seeing a lot of sales in the 0.19s. You're still seeing some in the 0.18s. And uh, it is fluctuating between the uh, the higher ones, 0.1s and the uh, the 0.3 range. So, so a little bit of fluctuation between the price. Uh, you still see some some zero breeds out there, the, the really good breeds, the pure breeds uh, are a little bit higher, but uh, you're still you're still within a decent range. We're not we're not headed back to the prices we had about uh, two and a half weeks ago. So uh, not yet, anyways, not yet. So if you are in the the market for buying some axes, I would I would advise. Well, I guess not advice, but. Uh, I would say that you probably want to pick some up now before the prices start escalating further. And uh, the the odds of them going into the upside are high. And uh, yeah, uh, going down in the to, to the downside are fairly low. It, it's again, it's all about supply and demand. The demand is still very high, and the supply is still very high. And if that uh, scale tips in any direction, you're going to see some changes. So uh, just just know that uh, that that could happen. All right. So that's our, our look at the market. I, I love to start the videos with a with a kind of an overview of what's happening here, especially when we're talking about prices and and marketplaces type marketplace type stuff. But uh, yeah, so that's what's happening there. Now we're gonna get into this uh, this new tool that I found for pricing. It's it's really cool. So I want to take a second to uh, to take a look at my history here. Uh, you can see, uh, you know, I, I usually I wouldn't show this on stream, but for educational purposes, you see that I I started a little bit high. So you know the market has changed quite a bit over the past couple weeks, and things were really selling for the uh, the point twos and a little bit higher, in fact. And so I had to, um, what I like to do if something's not selling and I, I just want to get it out of here, um, I like to, you know, scale down a little bit. So you see my history, I will cancel, I'll put back on for, uh, you know, uh, a little bit less and then a little bit less and then a little bit less until it sells. And so I was having some trouble selling at the, uh, the beginning of the week and I stumbled across this, uh, this new tool that uh, is really cool. So let's let's go ahead and take a look at Axie that I just sold. So this was uh, if you if you had watched the breeding video or the or the egg reveal, uh, you would have seen this fella on there. It, it wasn't the purest uh, Aqua Axie, but uh, still pretty cool. So you see here that we we sold it uh, on July twenty second for 0.175 ETH and yeah, and, and it was priced right. So how did I get to this price range? Uh, let's take a look. So we're gonna grab this number here and we're gonna go to this website. So this is called Axie Tech, Axie.Tech. It's a very cool website. It has all kinds of stuff in here. So uh, just to take a look, uh, they, you know, they have leaderboards, they have Axie price, they have scholarships. Uh, and then, of course, um, all kinds of different partnerships that are happening here with some of the, the uh, biggest names in the space. Uh, of course, Indies, one of the top esports players and just a really cool dude all around. And yeah, uh, this this is cool because you could actually take a look at what it, Indies is using uh, for his teams and kind of model your, your teams after, after that. So um, neat. Also have some coaching. 
and other stuff. So, so definitely check out the site. What I found interesting here is uh, these, this pricing. So I'm gonna go to the Axie pricing. Here's the calculator. We're gonna pop in the Axie and calculate. And this is this tells you some interesting stuff here, and and it's uh, it's pretty cool. So the number of aquas with this particular card set. So when we talk about card sets, we're talking about uh, the you know the mouth, the uh, the back, the horn, and the tail. Uh, they all give you different cards, of course. And so the number of axes with the card set is 424. Okay, and then you see the last one that sold like this. Uh, was for 0.175, so that was mine, okay? And then it gives you, of course, the stats over here, and then how many, and this is this is great data. So if you if you saw the market analysis video I did earlier, uh, it, it really pairs well with this particular site because uh, this, this is the kind of stuff that it's hard to find on the Axie marketplace. So, you know, current listings and recent sales, that's really hard to like sift through. So this is this is gonna give you all that data right up front. And you don't have to go sifting uh, through the marketplace. And, and sifting is a little bit more advanced for folks just getting started. So it's really, um, it's really at your fingertips. That's what I really love about this site. So you can see here, uh, you know, the, the different axes listed for sale with the same move set uh, start in the 0.24s. Now, of course, they haven't sold. Breed count, very important. Again, zero on all three of these. Uh, mine was zero two. So um, it begs the question, are these too high now? And then if you look at the recent sales, this gives you an idea of what these sold for. So you can kind of get it, you can kind of judge the market you know, looking back at some of these dates. So back on June 13th, this fella here sold for uh, 0.08. And then you could see, you know, the 23rd went up, you know, 19th, uh, you know, you can see the 13th, 19th, uh, 20th, 23rd, you see the prices kind of go up and, uh, and keep going up for this particular type of Axie. And, uh, and yeah, you get an idea of what the market's actually been doing over uh, the, you know, geez, it looks like a past month here or even further. So we have, we have data from May. So that, this is really, really good data to kind of gauge of, you know, what's going on. So when you pair it with the market analysis stuff we did in the second video, you kind of get an idea of, uh, of what to do here. So then, you go even further. So recommended pricing option. Now, this is just a recommendation. This isn't what you should actually list it for, okay? Uh, but but you could see here that a quick sell, you know, yeah, you're definitely gonna sell this super quick at 0.137, okay? I, I, I don't recommend, unless you're really desperate, uh, starting at that price, you know, uh, here's one for a 0.174. That's a reasonable price. And then you, you can see the scale down, uh, scale up. So if you were going to do like a time, you know, a timed auction that, that decreased over time, that's how you do the scale down. If you want to do the, you know, increase over time, that's how you do the scale up. So it's just recommendations really. And then, uh, of course the patient hopeful at, uh, 0.257. Now this, this could actually, you know, it could happen. It could happen because the market is, like I said, increasing. I don't think we're quite here yet, okay? I don't think we're quite here yet. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, we were definitely at the the 0.175 range because I did make that sale. And it, it didn't, didn't take very long, to be honest. I probably undercut it by about... Uh, I could have probably went for 0.18, but I did try 0.18 if you saw my history from before and it wasn't quite going. So uh, yeah, you, you really have to uh, to kind of gauge on where you want to start. Uh, it, it, like I said, if you're not if you're not really in need of, of uh, funds like right then and there, don't get impatient. So start a little bit higher and then you know start scaling down. That's my recommendation. You do what you like, but uh, that's what I like to do. So uh, yeah, this is a really cool tool. So you should check it out. It's axi.tech. This is the Axie pricing calculator. It's really cool. They have other stuff here, so check them out. 
And yeah, I, I wanted to take a minute to do a video on this because yeah, it could be very, very helpful if you're trying to sell your stuff. So give it a bookmark and come here and check out your axes. And that's really all I have today. I've been playing like crazy. So <laughs> we're gonna do some, uh, some videos on actually playing the game soon. Unfortunately, there's maintenance right now. So I, I chose to do this video instead of actual gameplay video. Uh, so expect that soon. I will be out this weekend, but I will be back next week with some more videos. I am, I'm not giving this up. I wanna keep going with these videos. I think it's fun and exciting and I hope you're enjoying them too. So um, yeah, thank you for, for hanging out with me for a brief uh, you know, few minutes of your day. And uh, yeah, you know, if you like the content, give it a like, subscribe, uh, check me out on Twitter. Again, if you have any questions on anything regarding marketplace, uh, you know, what to price your Axie for, breeding, if you have some breeding questions, definitely reach out. Uh, I'm, I'm always here. Uh, I'm on Discord a lot too. So uh, don't be shy, reach out. I do have scholarship accounts that I'm doing as well. Uh, but uh, those, those are rare because they get eaten up really quickly. Uh, but I am putting more of those together with, uh, with our friends. Uh, and hopefully we can announce more soon. And uh, yeah, um, we'll see you next time.